Hi, this is Alan from Hogdive and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Windows 11 Moment 3 update. Now, what is Moment 3? Well, Moment 3 update is another Windows 11 update that is called a feature update. I don't know why Microsoft wants to call it a feature update because there's not really much new features. Mostly, it is a security patch that allows you to use your Windows machine more flawlessly and just a little bit of quality of life changes so that you can use it more securely as well. So I'm going to talk to you in this video how you can get the Moment 3 update for the Windows 11 machine. I'm going to talk to you about what is on the Moment 3 update. I'm going to show you exactly on how you can make sure you already have it. So I'm going to hop onto my desktop and I'll see you there. All right, so now we are on my desktop. And actually, this machine is already running the Moment 3 update, or at least the Moment 3 update is applied to my Windows 11 machine, which is the one that you're looking at right now. I didn't even notice because there's literally no real new thing in it, and it didn't really feel like a major update. Well, maybe that's why they call it a feature update. No one knows. But right here on my desktop, I'm going to show you first of how can I determine that I already have it installed. Well, I can determine it by pressing the Windows and R. This is going to pop up. And once your run has popped up, you can just type in WinBer. If I press OK right here and scroll right about here, as you can see, Microsoft Windows version 22H2 and the OS build number is 226.21.1848. Now that 48 may change but this 18 right after the 22621 is the indicator that we have the moment 3 update so now that that is clear i'm going to show you the two methods that you can use so you can acquire the moment 3 update if you don't have it yet so the first one is basically heading over to settings and using the actual windows update feature to do that just hit the start menu button search for settings once settings is up, you just want to scroll down a little bit, click on the Windows Update, click on Check for Updates. Make sure this is toggled, by the way, to get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Make sure that is toggled on. You want to check for updates. Now, since I already have installed the latest updates, it says I'm up to date. But for you, you're going to see something along the lines of Install Now, or at least downloading the cumulative update of windows or something like that so just do that click install restart your pc and you should have the moment 3 update good and installed on your machine now what is the second method the second method at least for me is the actual easiest one because not a lot of people sometimes there's some conflict with the windows update system it doesn't show up on your system it has conflicts with the policy whatever I'm going to show you the exact straight up way that you can install the actual update without using the Windows finicky update feature of, of course, Windows. I just want you to head over to your browser and search for this link. This link would be on the article down below. So check us out over at hawkdive.com. And you're going to see the exact title of this video on that article. And you're going to see the links there. But anyway, you can pause the video right now, www.catalog.update.microsoft.com slash search that ASPX question mark Q equal KB5027231. This is actually the actual serial code for the update of Moment 3. This is the indicator of the security patch feature update. That means Moment 3, at least for Windows. Now, you're going to see two files in here. One for ARM64 base machine. Now you would have to do your research a little bit, but if you see on your machine, you have like an Intel, um, i7, i5, Intel Core Duo, something like that, or Pentium, or if you see Ryzen, AMD, and not something a little weird, most likely your system is running on a 64-bit, x 64 dash based system. Now you're only gonna download the ARM64 if you are 100% sure, but 90% of the people watching this video for sure is using this one now if you have already figured it out you just want to click the download link right next to it my system is using 
a Ryzen 5 3600 TPU. So I know, in fact, that I'm using a 64-bit machine. I'm just going to press on download. Now, once the download is done, you're going to be receiving this file right here, which is Windows 11.0. You can read it if you want. I'm not going to read it. You just want to go and double-click it and install it because this is a Windows Update standalone installer. Now, as you can see, Windows Update standalone installer is already installed on my computer. So it just gave me the, you know, the sign or at least prompting me that it was already installed so I don't have to do it. So I'm just going to press OK. But for you, the same thing after this thing installs, just want to restart your computer and you should be good. Now, those are the two ways. Now, what's in Windows 11 Moment 3 update? Because as I was stating earlier, it doesn't really include much. The biggest thing, in fact, that I can find, or at least any other articles, any other videos, the biggest thing that you're going to see is you can have the clock seconds on the clock on the taskbar. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. You can head over right here on the bottom part of your screen. So you can just head over and search for taskbar settings, personalization taskbar. You can scroll down, click on taskbar behaviors, scroll down again. And from there, you're going to see a show seconds and system tray clock. Uses more power. Probably doesn't do much. But as you can see on the bottom right of my screen now, it shows the actual seconds on my clock. That's literally the biggest thing. The second thing that I've noticed, literally another key feature, by the way, is it now has a VPN logo right on your Windows Wi-Fi icon on the taskbar on the bottom right of my screen again. Right now, you can see it. I, I zoomed in um, right here. Literally, that's it. Nothing much. <laughs> you also have new things such as the enhanced widget boards, which in my case right here, as you can see, I don't, I never use this. I never use the widget board. A lot of people do. But the changes here are so small that I didn't even notice. The last time I checked widget boards, it looked almost the same. Clearly, it kind of looks a little different now. Like there's four tabs you can easily add. It has a little bit of a new UI, but nothing much really. Another key feature of the update is the two-factor authentication. Now, of course, I cannot demo that. I won't want to demo that because you're going to see 2FA, but 2FA are, you know, if you have like a Google account signed in over link to your Microsoft account or something like that, you received a 2FA code from, let's say, Epic Games, which is a games, uh, games launcher. You get sent of their 2FA. It's going to notify right around this area. So you can easily just copy it and paste it. Honestly, not a big fan because people would quickly see the pin for your 2FA. But that is another quality of life change. Of course, you can toggle that on and off depending on the 2FA program that you're using. But that's on by default now. So you might want to check out how to disable that on your specific 2FA program. Another key feature, again, this is a security update, the phishing protection. Now, it added new phishing things. Microsoft, especially Microsoft Edge, if you're using their browser, you're going to see more warnings now when you're visiting websites. A lot of sites have been blocked, so you might want to use a VPN so that you can work around on that. But generally, Microsoft is really trying to secure up their machines, or at least the machines where Windows are installed to. But that is basically it. There's nothing really much. Again, quality of life changes. So far, I have not experienced a single crash for the day. I have been editing, working, studying, no crashes. It's working good, it's working well. And I think you should just install it because you would love to see the seconds on your taskbar clock on the bottom right of your screen or wherever you have your taskbar placed. Anyway, that is all. Again, that is the Moment 3 update. This is Alan. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next Hawk Dive video. Have a nice day.